Hi friends, it's Nicole from Snuggle Bugs and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is where we share all of our product demos, product views, and product comparisons to help you feel the utmost confidence along your parenthood journey. So today I am here with Glenn from Britax. Welcome. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks for having me. Of course. Appreciate it. And today we are talking about the Britax One for Life. So yes. for people that don't know, tell us a little bit about Britax okay. and about the One for Life, why it might be the car seat for you and your family. All right. Well, I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about Britax. Yes. It's got a great story, a great it history. It does. <laughs> so Britax started in the 1960s making car seats. They were one of the very first car seat manufacturers globally. Really? So wow. So we've been making car seats for over 60 years. Oh my goodness. And, um, you know, Britax has been known globally as a leader in car seat safety technology. Yes. Of the 15 major innovations in car seat technology, Britax has led all of them. Wow. And as we talk specifically about the One for Life, this is kind of the most modern car seat that Britax has got, or the latest car seat that Britax yeah. came out with. And it is just so full of safety features, convenience features, and comfort features for the baby. It is. It's an incredible seat. Now, One for Life, what does it stand for? Who might need a one for life, want a one for life. Right, well, if you've got a child who needs a car seat, you're gonna need a one for life. Yes. <laughs> it's great for anyone who has a child. This car seat will go uh, from five pounds all the way to 120 pounds. Yes, which so is amazing. So it starts amazing. off rear facing as an infant car seat. Yep. It goes to a forward facing position for a toddler. Yep. And then it becomes a booster seat. Yeah. So you take the harness out of the way, you move everything out. And then the belt positioning booster just allows you to use this car seat with the seat belt over the child. Yeah. And so you don't have to install the car seat at that point. But there's some really great safety features about this car seat. Yeah. There are five features I like to talk about yeah. that are part of the Britax, what I call DNA. Amazing. Right? So we'll start at the sides here. So this car seat and most Britax car seats mm -hmm. have multiple layers of side impact protection. Yes. So side impact protection is really important. There's no, um, you know, crumple zone on the side of your car, it's yeah. the front and the back. So having extra protection on the side is really good. So we've got deep sidewalls and two layers of impact absorbing material here and in the headrest. It's a little bit like a helmet. Yeah. So there's like foam in here that's a lot like a ho hockey helmet yeah, it or a, like a motorcycle helmet. So you've got that. The next thing we've got is safe cell technology. So yes. at the bottom of the seat here, yeah. we've got this red plastic part which will actually crumple in a crash mm -hmm. and it will absorb a lot of the energy that will come to the car seat and it'll keep that energy away from the baby. Yeah. So that's really important. I also love that it's exposed so you really can just you can see it. flat out yeah. see that safety feature right there in front of you. Exactly. Um, and what you can't see right now is that all Britax convertible car seats and one for life car seats have a steel frame yes. which strengthens the connection between the car seat and the vehicle. Yeah. So if you're looking at a car seat with an all plastic body and no mm -hmm. steel frame, there's going to be a lot more flex which for you sure. don't want. So that's why we've got these energy absorbing um, features in the car seat. And the last feature I want to just touch on yeah. is our patented tether strap. So we've got a stitching system here that's designed to break in a crash. I don't know if you can see that oh, at, wow. at home. But as it breaks, instead of the car seat going from 60 to zero and stopping very yep. suddenly, as it breaks, it slows the car seat down, it slows your child down, and the car seat and your child come to rest more gradually and more gently. Wow, just mm -hmm. with stitching. Just with stitching. Oh it's my like goodness. It's like a roofer's harness, if you will. Yeah, that right? is incredible. And the last thing I wanted to talk about mm -hmm. as far as the feature goes is our safe wash fabrics. Yeah, for so sure. So recently, Britax transitioned most of our car seats to a safe wash fabric, which yep. means it's safe to put in the washer and dryer. Yeah. And it also contains no added chemical fire retardants. Wow. So most car seats, the reason you can't wash them is yeah. because those fire retardants, you don't want them to come off. Definitely. So with our car seats, we don't have any. They are naturally flame, flame retardants, yeah. right? And um, you can wash them multiple, multiple times through oh, the life of the That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Ease and convenience at yes, its finest. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> that's great. So then in terms of, I mean, even weight limits we were talking yeah. about. So starting off when you do have um, that small baby, yeah. your newborn baby, what are the weight limits from rear facing and then all the way to booster? So for the One for Life, 
rear facing starts at as little as five pounds. Wow. So you could truly use this for a newborn. Definitely. All the way up to 50 pounds rear facing. Yep. And at Britax, we really do promote extended rear facing. Yes. It's far safer for a child to be in a car crash if they're rear facing longer. Definitely. So we've got extended rear facing and then forward facing, you can use this car seat with the harness mm -hmm. up to 65 pounds and 49 inches in Amazing. height. Amazing. So that's really good. And then, with the booster mode. So you can use it starting at 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. Most people want to keep the harness on until the maximum of 65, yes. <laughs> but you could start it technically at 40 pounds all the way up to 120 pounds. Wow. Yeah, so it will fit right through the 10 years yeah. that your child needs to be in a car seat. And the height limit for the booster is 63 inches. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. I know there is sometimes overlap when it comes to like rear facing, forward facing, right. but definitely maxing it out in those modes is absolutely. the best that you can do for absolutely. sure. Now in terms of growing, I yeah. absolutely love Vertex's harness system. Yes. It's incredible, your headrest system. So tell us a little bit about physically how this can grow with your child. So, so much adjustability in this yes. car seat. <laughs> Not only with the headrest and the harness, but also with the number of recline positions. So we'll start with the headrest and harness. Yeah. There is an industry leading 15 headrest and harness positions. It's incredible. The infant <laughs> insert is in here right now, but I yep. will take that out just to demonstrate. Yeah. It goes down all the way to here. Yeah. And then you can get it to go all the way up just with the Isn't press of a button. Isn't that amazing? You don't have to do any re-threading. So we mm -hmm. call it a no re-thread headrest and harness. Perfect. So whichever position you need to get to, yeah. that is the position um, that the car seat will allow you to do. Yeah. So anywhere from zero or five pounds all the way up to 65 pounds. Yeah. Harness. And I'll tell you too, even though this is a no rethread headrest and harness and mm -hmm. it does move up and down, yeah. um, there is more adjustability yes. under here. So if you press on this little button here yep. and you pull on the harness, it allows you to get more slack out yeah. and then to pull it tight, you just here super Amazing. easy. Super easy. And mm. especially when you want to get those straps out of the way just to put your oh, yeah. little baby inside. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Amazing. Well, oh, and are, there are some um, little fashion features you were saying, right? Some yeah. convenient and fashion features. We like to call those the surprise and delight <laughs> features, yes. right? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got two cup holders that come included. They are removable and they are dishwasher yes, safe. Yes, so, which is amazing. So these come out <laughs> and then you can plop them in the dishwasher. Nothing, Perfect. you know, like having a little side experiment in your <laughs> cup holder. I'm Little sure. treasures in yeah. there that you might <laughs> Cheerios and juice and all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Stuff. Goldfish. Yeah. So yeah, and then they just pop back in. Perfect. And then you can uh, just twist to fasten. Yeah, amazing. So they're back in there. And then on the inside of the car seat, the yeah. other feature that we do have that I think parents and children will appreciate is the um, airflow. So oh, you can yeah, see right that there. it's an open mesh. Yep. That allows for the air conditioning in the vehicle to get in behind the child on those hot summer days when yes. you're going on a road trip, oh, right? Going to the zoo. Yeah. And uh, so you can get the air conditioning through there. It keeps your baby cooler and drier. Yeah, that is so, so nice. Especially little kids definitely run hot. They do. So having that nice breeze. Oh, yeah. I wish we had it I in know, our adult right? seats. <laughs> Me too. So we have uh, this car seat that can be installed both rear facing yep. obviously and forward facing and we're yep. going to do a quick demo for you on both and yes. show you how easy it is to install because I think this is the thing if people were making up their mind on which car seat to buy yeah click tight installation definitely is a you know decider for a yeah. lot of people and it's one of a kind it truly yeah. is okay so we have turned the seat around we are yes. now rear facing we also added in the anti-rebound bar which was super easy to put in by the way yeah <laughs> so the anti-rebound bar comes with the car seat yes it's not exactly. an additional purchase no <laughs> and it's mandatory to be used rear facing and what that does it reduces rotation in a crash so yes. this is the anti-rebound bar here yeah and what it does is it presses up against the back of the vehicle seat and if the car seat gets into a yeah. crash in a forward or rear crash it just stops that car seat from flipping up definitely and trapping the baby between the car seat and the vehicle seat. yeah so it's a great safety feature to have yeah um, but we really wanted to show the click tight installation, yes exactly right? <laughs> um, so let's do that so it's really just the press of a button on the inside of the seat which yep. opens the mouth of the seat yep you will grab the seat belt and you will put the lap and shoulder belt together yes and go across the seat right and all you have to do is make sure you're flat yep. yeah I perfect can just Buckle that in right there. Yep, perfect. You don't have to do any pulling, really. You don't have to put all your weight in the seat. You just yep. have to press down 
Hear and that click. Hear that click. And the car seat's installed. It's really that easy. Yes. And you can see that the car seat <laughs> is not going anywhere. It is no. very securely installed to this bench. Yeah. And it will be securely installed in your vehicle. And so it's so easy that it's makes it easier to transfer the car seat yes, between your vehicles. Definitely. If you have a caregiver who is not the primary caregiver looking yeah. after the baby, then it's easy for them to do yeah. also. So it's really good. And then we also can do the click tight in um, forward facing yeah. position also. And it's just as easy to do it forward facing. Yeah, this is such an incredible install. And like you mentioned, you don't have to over tighten the seat belt. Like no. just a simple click and you know that your seat is fastened and safe. And like you said, transferring it from car to car, it just makes it so much, just that ease feeling of knowing Absolutely. that I can install this in my little Honda or yeah. your SUV or, you know, stuff like that. So well, talking about small cars, this is yeah. something that I really wanted to touch on also, For sure. which is the number of reclined positions that we've got in this car yes. seat. So one of the things that's really limiting in some car seats is the number of recline positions because Absolutely. if you've only got one recline position, that's it. And so with our car seat, the one for life here, again, we tried to hit some industry benchmarks yes. to be best in class. And the number of recline positions came up as something that we were really interested in making sure we were best in class. And so there are a total of nine recline positions on Which this car seat. Which is amazing. Huge. So for a little one, you want to be, you want to make sure that they're in about a 45 degree angle for recline. Yes. Yep. After they're old enough that they've got head and neck control yeah. around six months or so, mm -hmm. you can actually take this car seat and put it into a more upright position. Yeah. Like this. Now, if you look at the side here, I'm going to do it from this side and we're just yeah. going to show you how much room you save. Yeah. So if that's a recline position for a newborn, yep. right? And then if we just move up, you save about three or four inches, which gives you more room as a passenger Definitely. in the front of the car. Yeah. So where you're comp compromised for leg room in a lot of, with a lot of car seats because there's no adjustability. Yeah. As a child gets older and you move the car seat to a more upright position, it gives you more leg room in the front. Okay, so this car seat also comes with infant inserts. Yeah. There are two of them. They're very plush, they very cozy. very <laughs> plush and cozy. You can see how thick this one is. So yes. this is a lower infant insert. Yep. And this one needs to be used up to 22 pounds. Which is amazing because I know there are some that that are lesser weight, so having that extended infant yep. insert is great. And then this is the second piece, which is the torso piece, and yep. this needs to be used to 20 pounds. So it's Amazing. two pounds less, so you can take yeah. it out um, a little bit earlier, yeah. or you can leave it in. Yeah, you know? no, that's so incredible. Up until you take the uh, lower piece off. Yeah. So that is the infant insert, so they will come off. The buckle here also, we've got three positions. Yes. So as a child grows from infant to rear facing, older child to yeah. a toddler, yeah. you can move this uh, buckle to yeah. the three different positions. Definitely, as their hips grow and their yeah. body grows, you can accommodate to that, which exactly. is awesome. Okay, so we have now turned this forward facing. We've yeah. also taken out the anti-rebound bar, Gone. which you yeah. don't need for forward facing. No, definitely not. It's only for rear facing. It doesn't have any safety feature for when it's forward facing. Yeah. We have a tether strap, yes. actually, which does a similar job yeah. for when the car seat's forward facing. So. A lot of misuse occurs around the fact that people don't use their tether strap yes. when the car seat's forward facing. So Definitely. we're just going to show you guys what a tether strap is here. Yep. So basically it comes out of the top of the car seat and it anchors to the vehicle seat and it reduces again that forward rotation yeah. and the crash um, so the head doesn't you know, fly forward during yeah, the crash no, exactly. the car seat and the child stays secure. In, during the event. Yes. Let's just call it, yeah. And when you are um, attaching your top tether, I know sometimes a lot of people ask, what do I do with my headrest? Does it go over? Does it go through? Right. Um, so you were talking earlier just a bit about um, how that kind of correlates. Yes, so headrests uh, and some vehicles can become an issue and they yes. do have to be removed if there's interference yes. with the head support on this seat. And on this bench here, you yep. can see that there's no interference. Yeah. So there is no need to remove the head support. But yeah. if you are finding that there's interference, and what interference really means is that it's changing the, the position of the headrest. Yeah, it's pushing exactly. it forward a little bit. So what you can do is you can just remove it. Yep. And if you need to get rid of that interference, these come out pretty easily in yes, a lot of Yes, they vehicles. do. <laughs> Some of them, there is no removing yeah. the head support. 
in the vehicle seat. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you want to look at. And it's yeah. always a great idea to dry fit your car seat in your yes. vehicle before you buy it. Yes. And make sure you use it not just in the position you're driving away from the store and if you're using it rear facing, but try it forward facing too and make sure there's no interference. For there. sure, especially with a one for life. And Snugglebugs does do have a dry fit program, which is awesome. But yeah, you utilizing that headrest, seeing in every mode, yep. how it'll interact with your car, seeing what your car vehicle says. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's so many different ways to um, make sure that you have all those boxes ticked off, which is great. You just touched on something that I think we need to reinforce is that yeah. when you're installing a car seat, you need to be looking at two user guides. Yes. You need to be looking at the user guide for your car seat, but yep. you also need to be looking at the user guide for your vehicle. Definitely. So there's always a section for car seat installation in your user guide in your vehicle. So uh, reference that yeah. whenever you're installing. Yeah, your exactly. And once those are aligned, then your mm -hmm. seat is safe and you are good to go, which is awesome. Definitely. So. Amazing. So now forward facing. Yeah, Same do. click tight installation Same that we know and tight, love. Just in a different <laughs> different position here. Yes, exactly. So You're for forward facing, and it's gonna be easier to see this forward facing than reverse facing. You just yes. press, mm -hmm. it opens up. Yep. Again, you take the lap and shoulder belt and you put them together. Mm -hmm. So you give yourself enough length to get it to the other side. Yeah. And then with this forward facing position, you just put it through. All right. And then Clicked once in. the buckle is installed. You can see there's not a whole lot of slack there, but if there is, you just pull that out yep. from the top, press down, you hear the click. Amazing. And again, the car seat <laughs> is installed. It's not going it anywhere. It is sturdy, yeah. And yes. again, just hearing that click is so satisfying. You know right? that you're clicked in, you're installed, you're safe. Yeah, Absolutely. and you are good to go. Yeah. Amazing. So yes. that is forward facing. Again, the top tether, the click tight. Um, with the seat belt. Okay, so as you can see now, we have reinstalled it in a full forward-facing recline position. Correct, so we've made sure that the level indicator indicates that this is still acceptable. Yes. There is a gap between the car seat and the vehicle seat. That is not a problem. Okay, amazing. There's no overhang on the base. Even nope. though there is some allowed, you'd have to read the user guide to yep. find out exactly For how sure. much. But this is a great position, like I was mentioning earlier, for road trips. Yes. We've all been in the car where the child's got their head forward, their neck's gonna get sore. Yeah. They're kind of drooling them on themselves, yeah. right? <laughs> like, it's not a good look. No, And exactly. it's not comfortable. So yeah. when we were talking earlier about comfort, convenience, and safety. Yeah. So this is one of the comfort features that we've designed into the One for Life car seat. Is yeah, that you've got definitely. that extra recline position for those road trips. Yeah, which is amazing. And I feel like very rare in other car seats. So it's nice that you guys have included this. Now your little one can just be as relaxed as you are in the car for those, like you said, long trips on the go or yeah. making them feel the most comfortable. Amazing. Yeah. So now when your little one is not so little anymore and on their last portion of their car seat journey, mm -hmm. we have entered booster mode. What kind of things do you need to prepare before you even have your um, lap shoulder belt to get it into booster mode? Right, so obviously the harness needs to come out. Yeah. So it's easy to do on yeah. this seat. You just undo the buckle here. Yeah. The buckle is also removable. Amazing. Um, you just unclip the harness. You will move this to the back. Yep. You will take the metal and plastic pieces and put them to the most lower portion of the assembly that you can. Amazing. To make sure that they're out of the way and wouldn't come in contact with the baby. Perfect. Or toddler at this yep. point. Um, and then everything just tucks away. And now you're in booster mode. Amazing. The other thing you can do for more headroom is yeah. you can remove this insert here. Oh, perfect. Right? And as I mentioned earlier, when it comes to adjustability, yeah. we really wanted to be best in class when it yes. came to all that stuff. <laughs> so one of the constraints that you come across with a lot of other car seats mm -hmm. when it becomes a booster mode is that there's a lack of adjustability for the headrest and harness position. Definitely. And the seat tends to get pretty narrow for an older child that goes up to 120 pounds. So yeah. we made our seat a little bit wider through the shoulder. Yeah. There is a ton of adjustability through the headrest and harness. Yeah. So for the booster mode, the shoulder belt would go across here. Yeah. The lap portion goes across the child's lap there. The mo main thing to remember when you're installing your child when they're in booster mode is yes. to make sure that the shoulder belt is off the face and neck and just resting ag against their shoulder. Yeah, exactly. So you can adjust this through any of those 15 positions, honestly, Yeah. Um, to make sure that it's in the right position. Even if the shoulder belt comes down through the car seat a little bit, 
not a problem. Yeah. The main thing is getting that shoulder belt off the face and neck and down over their shoulder. Yeah, which is just such a nice way, like your child is now comfortable and they know that um, they're wearing their seat belt correctly, right? Right. Definitely. Well, yeah. I think, have we touched on everything about the One for Life? I think <laughs> so, Nicole. I think we're, we're kind of, yeah, we've done it. Amazing. Well, thank yeah. you again so much for joining yeah. me and talking all things One for Life. We absolutely love um, sharing all of this education with our friends and having an expert here just makes it that much better. So we also have some Learning Center articles on the Britax One for Life on so many of the Britax car seats, which we absolutely love. So I will definitely put those articles in the description box as well. But if you like seeing more videos like this, then definitely like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you guys again soon. All right. Bye. Thank you.